Wintertime means more people indoors and more chances of getting sick. If you have type 1 diabetes, when you get an illness, it can change your routine. So if you or your child with insulin requiring diabetes gets sick, remember the following to avoid a trip to the emergency room or worse. An illness can affect eating habits, food preferences, even your appetite. Maintaining proper nutrition when ill is essential. Most illnesses also increase the need for more insulin, so it's very important to never omit a scheduled insulin dose when ill. And equally as important, you need to be very aware of blood sugar levels during an illness. In other words, check sugar levels more often. If you have nausea or if you vomit for any reason, check your blood sugar and ketone level immediately. If you have a blood sugar level over 300 milligrams per deciliter, even without nausea, then still check for ketones. Ketones are not the result of overeating. Too little insulin to meet the needs of the body causes ketone levels to increase. Ketones are also blood acids. As they accumulate, they trigger nausea and vomiting. High ketones are a sign that the body needs extra insulin. Just how much, what type, and how often is best discussed with your diabetes team or doctor. Ketone overproduction is stopped by having enough insulin in the body. The decision to take extra insulin is made by knowing blood sugar and ketone levels. But once you have ketones in your body, you need to rinse them out by staying well hydrated. That usually means small sips of sugar-free liquids to help the kidney flush them out into the urine. Finally, withholding insulin shots during illness is the most common reason for a type 1 diabetic getting admitted for a serious condition called diabetic ketoacidosis. Don't make that mistake. Call your doctor early into an illness for help if you need it.